In this topic, we are going to talk about another component of pre-departure training, uh, which is the training of uh, third country nationals and host country nationals. Uh, you know that host country nationals are also sent for expatriate assignments to headquarters and third country nationals are sent to other countries for various different international assignments. So let's see what is the situation about the training of these people. Uh, what research tells us that people who are hired uh, on expatriate assignments in the form of uh, third country nationals or host country nationals, they are not given training for expatriate assignments usually. Uh, and this is the data which, uh, from, which we see from the research. Uh, this can actually lead to perceptions on, of inequitable treatment in situations where parent country nationals and host country nationals or third country nationals, they are working in the same foreign location. So, if the parent country nationals ko training is not or TCNs ko or HCNs are not being given, then there is a sense of or perception of inequitability that can develop. Ho sakti hai. Uh, or that, is, that is something which can lead to uh, difficulty in adjustment to international assignment. लेकिन ऐसा होता क्यों है? आ, होता इसलिए है क्योंकि amount of training जो है वो it is directly related with the length of assignment जिस तरह से हमने आ, आ, black and mental halls के model में देखा था कि आप कितनी देर के लिए जा रहे हैं किसी assignment के लिए तो usually आ, होता ये है कि host country nationals या जो third country nationals हैं उनको long term expatriate assignments में नहीं भेजा जाता Whereas, unko jis tarah ki assignments bheja jata hai, wo short term hoti hai, ya project based hoti hai, ya unko troubleshooting ke liye bheja jata hai. So, ya unko management development ke liye bheja jata hai. For example, host country se, corporate headquarters mein management development ke liye bheja jata hai, to basically, uski training ke liye bheja jata hai. So, ab mazid training karwani ke to usko zhururat nahi hai. So, wajah ye hai ke, jo third country nationals hai, ya host country nationals hai, Unka nature of assignment or nature of job is tarah ka hota hai aur length of stay is tarah ka hota hai ke aam taur pe unko training dene ki zarurat nahi mehsoos ki jati aur is wajah se bhi hota hai ke wo ek genuine expatriate assignment nahi consider ki jati for example agar aap kisi jagah pe troubleshooting ke liye ja rahe hain ya short term pe ja rahe hain ya aap project karne ke liye ja rahe hain ya aap commuter uh, commuting uh, kar rahe hain from one uh, country to the other to usko ek genuine expatriate assignment nahi samjha jata jiski wajah se uh, training uh, ki investment karne mein organization jo hai wo reluctant hoti hai this is uh, something where the corporate hr it must play its role and it must intervene uh, that people uh, who require training, whether they are HCNs or TCNs or PCNs, uh, if they require training, it should not be segregated on the basis of where they are coming from, but the training should be assigned uh, to people who require it. And this is something which should be explicitly told in organizational policies that what are the criteria for providing training to a particular person and if the person falls on that particular criteria then training should not be withheld because that person is a host country national or a, or a third country national so uh, this is something which is uh, which, which is the situation regarding the training of third country nationals and host country nationals